Tonight, a story first on KRHG News. Mo the service dog has been battling bone cancer and continues his service to help a Navy vet in Aggie with PTSD. KRHG News reporter Rebecca Fiedler has a heartwarming update that is positively Brazos Valley. Last year, we introduced you to Navy veteran and former Aggie student Carson Waymeyer and his service dog Mo. This Valentine's Day, we shared a call for action as Mo was diagnosed with bone cancer and needed treatment. Today, Mo's future is looking hopeful. After Mo was diagnosed with bone cancer in his leg last month, Waymeyer was distraught, unsure how he was going to afford Mo's amputation surgery and chemotherapy on a ranch hand salary. A GoFundMe was started, raising nearly $5,000 for Mo. Then something incredible happened. He still got a long road, but they, uh, the side effects that they said for chemo would be like, uh, throwing up and not really having an appetite, not really wanting to do anything. And I think Mo is definitely beating that because he has had an appetite. He has, he hasn't been throwing up. After seeing KRHD's story on Mo's journey, veteran service dog nonprofit Hank and Eli's Fund reached out to Waymeyer and pledged to donate all other expenses needed for Mo's treatment. You know, if Carson was not able to afford that treatment, he would have had to put Mo down. To, to, to lose something that you love so much, so fast, it is, it, it's not only traumatizing, but it, it's just, it's, it's not beneficial to the veteran either. William Cole, also a veteran with a service dog, says he knows just what Waymeyer is going through. Like, I'm, I'm actually here at Texas A&M right now. Uh, I'm in College Station. We discovered that my, my service dog actually has a tumor under his tongue. We found out yesterday. Thanks to Cole's charity, Mo has now been able to get the care he desperately needs with a successful amputation surgery and two rounds of chemo. Wayamire shared that doctors believe Mo could live up to two more years if he's lucky. For the young Aggie veteran, the support of multiple charities and dozens of individual people means the world to him. I can't even explain what it means to me because I don't have the words for it. Um, I'm extremely generous of all the love that he's been given and the hope that he's been given. And I mean, the Aggie Network is something, it's something crazy. Way Meyer says that his GoFundMe donations will be used to fund Mo's non-emergency needs, but most of the money he will donate towards all the nonprofits who have specifically helped him and Mo and towards Texas A&M's Veterinary Teaching Hospital. Reporting in Bryan, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News. After